made a uh, call to the finance company that we picked up the Arcadia for the other day where the guy was giving us the uh, story about the motorcycle, the second half of the collateral on that loan, telling us that, you know, he sold the bike and that they had mailed him a title that was clear and free with no lien on it, and that was not the information that we had. You know, there's a lot of times in situations like that after the fact, I like to follow up with the finance company and just kind of find out, you know, what was the story on this? You know, are they just flat out lying? Is the guy nuts? You know, uh, or is there some truth to what they said? Because, you know, again, we are always using our skills as human lie detectors to know when we're being lied to and when we're not being lied to. And I, you know, the guy that was with me on that repo, he's a, a sheriff's deputy and him and I discussed that on the way to and from the repo, actually to the repo, because coming back, he was in a different vehicle. And we talked about it after the fact though, off camera, about what his story was and the way things had transpired, you know. And I just got it, you know, I asked him his opinion, you know, from another professional. What, what did you get from his story? And he goes, I think he was telling the truth about what he thought. He goes, the other guy, he goes, there was some shadiness to what he said and definitely wasn't being completely forthcoming and honest. And, uh, you know, I had got the same assessment, but I wanted to know what was the, what, why was there a mismatch in information? That's what's important for us to be able to decipher so that when we're out in the field and we see a mismatch, we can make an educated call on what needs to be done. Uh, and that's why we have standard operating procedures that were, no matter what happens, we follow these things because there's things that are in question, but we still have a job to do. And uh, it doesn't matter what they say or what the truth is or isn't. We still have to do this, this, and this. This, 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 and this, this, and this still have to be accomplished. And yet, you know, things like that. Anyhow, um, I called the finance company and said, so what's the deal? You know, and I uh, just got an email back from uh, the guy that I left a message for. And it says, uh, I went by the TLR, which stands for Title and Registration, search originally uh, performed and it shows that we have our lien. The thing here is that our title clerk released the title by mistake. The Honda Shadow was refinanced from a previous loan here with us into a new loan from another company. The titled clerk saw that the original loan from the Honda Shadow was paid off without checking to see if it was paid off with funds from another loan so she released the title and mailed it to the debtor. So he did receive a title, clear and free, with no lien on it. And then he took it and sold it. <laughs> and he knew that he hadn't paid it off, but uh, had in fact, it had been refinanced with a different company. And instead of it going to the DMV and getting a lien on with the new company, he went ahead and just sold it. And uh, so now we're taking care of getting the uh, generator out of the back of this truck because it's going to probably go to auction. The lady came the other day and got her property out and said she couldn't get that thing so we're going to run that over to the finance company. I just got an email from them asking about this truck wondering if they ever came and got their personal property and if they left a key. To bring the license plates of the recently repoed vehicles to our office. So I got to pull the plates off of that and I think they're on this too so I gotta pull the plates on both of those as well and that's where we're gonna be heading next is up to their office with this generator and some other personal property oh another day in the life oh, she also called me back and said her daughter accidentally left the uh, pins to hold the fifth wheel plate in I told her I'd grab those as well and put them in a baggie and zip tie them to the generator. I'm not seeing the other fall down in. Now we're missing one of the cotter pins. Got all the two of them. She must have. Oh well, those are cheap enough. They can take care of those. I'm missing two of these Julios. Oh. 
how do we do this smartly? I think we're just got to manhandle it. <clears throat> Let's see if I'm enough of a man to handle it. I don't want those to go into the paint job on the truck. Balancing act here. Get this over the get my leg out of the way. Get up there. There you go. Alrighty. Do a 180. Now I'm thinking about my dolly cover. I don't want to tear it in half. Fun, fun, fun. Got it dirty, that's about it. Some tough covers. Only thing they've had to stand up to now has been sun, wind, and rain. Alright. It's gonna be even funner to unload when we get to the finance company's office. But there'll be another guy there to help me, so. I can uh, deal with that. Now I just gotta get plates off these two vehicles. We're ready to go. <laughs> What's up? I love you. I love you too. What are you doing? Oh. Um, well, you said after school you take me to the pumpkin patch. I've got to tow those two vehicles in the impound up to Brazier's, and then when That's I get... What would you say? That's well, it's short, and I wish. It's all the way freaking up in deep, deep Salt Lake. <sighs> yeah, not West Jordan. But, yeah, it'll take like four hours for sure. What time are they open till? I don't know, but I don't know if you see. Oh, you're gonna go. Do you wanna collect any leggings? I'll bring some for my friend. Yeah, I've gotta get up there and get a vehicle picked up on my way back before they're up. this place is closed, so. Oh. What? You just promised. I did, I'm not breaking my promise. I'm just gotta do this yeah, first. After All right, let me shut the truck. Let me get That's this. Okay. Don't start that crap. Let me. Yeah, Okay, well, don't give me a freaking guilt trip and then say fine, whatever. Okay, see, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. I totally can. Are you putting up with this, really? This, this whining crap? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, Are you, I, doing? you have 10 seconds. Hey, you have 10 seconds to decide what you want. And... I want to go, but if you're busy, we don't have to Okay, well, I'm always busy, so I'll go nine, eight. Seven. I go. So then, would you let me go get to a point where I can? I'll stop in about ten minutes. Okay. okay. We'll go. Okay. All right. Sometimes family needs. Okay. Most of the time, family needs cry out for attention, and we have to pause our business life and take care of the uh, family life, which is, you know, why we're here. It's why we're working so hard. It's for family. Anyhow, I was getting ready to start my introduction and Asia came running out. Today, you guys get to, tonight, you guys get to see me do what's called a train. It's where we uh, 
tow two vehicles at once. You can only do a train with certain circumstances being that you have to have some kind of a vehicle on the back of the repo truck that has a hitch such as this truck right here and can be pulled from the front so that the back is going that way. That's the first requirement. The second requirement is that you have a car dolly, which we have. And the heck are the keys for this thing? Third requirement is that the vehicle that goes onto the car dolly preferably be a smaller vehicle. The heck? I thought I threw the key right on the Am I sitting on it. <laughs> okay, what do you think? Yeah. Key should be somewhere. You should look at that somewhere. And we're going to be towing that uh, Liberty on the dolly, and it is definitely smaller than the dually. So I'm going to pull this uh, out into the front. Always try to set up a train where you're uh, pointing straight because I'm not going to uh, be able to back up in any way, shape, or form. We're going to be able to only go straight until we get to the auction. So we'll get this first vehicle out here. Pull up behind the tow truck and get it. Let's see. I don't know if I'm turning radius. I'm going to go down the street just a little bit. Oh, still didn't make it. Bastard. It's all right. You guys are always telling me to get a freaking Dodge. Look at the freaking steering radius on these things. It sucks. That belt sounds horrible. How do they drive this thing around like that? That's just horrible. We'll get this right behind the tow truck. And then we'll hook the dolly up to it and then we'll pull the Jeep out. Neutral. Get it picked up from the front, and then we'll. Uh, yeah, there's no hitch on there, so we'll take the hitch off the repo truck, which we have to do anyways before we flip the arm down, transfer it to the dually, and then uh, bring the Jeep out, get it loaded on the dolly. And we also have to put uh, these dollies on the uh, back of the Jeep because it's all-wheel drive. So it's going to be a, not only a train, but a train on dollies, which always looks a little bit more interesting because you've got the extra set of wheels going on. And then we're going to take a break from work, go to the pumpkin patch with the daughters. Daughter and friend. When you have somebody else's daughter, they become a your own daughter for the night. You get to feed them and give them a place to sleep. Oh! I'd hope anywhere my daughter goes, she's taken care of just as if she was their daughter. So I do the same for other people's kids. Alrighty. shouldn't need lights at this point because we'll have the tow lights on the farthest rear thing being towed, which will be the Jeep. I'll get the rest of this hooked up and then when I come back, we'll be ready to roll with our train. I love the new sound system. It's all dialed in. 
front rear subs. I'm gonna add some mid base. It gets better and better and better. Triple haul, I guess double haul, because I'm not hauling myself. Hmm. Looks good, looks good, looks good. This towed just beautifully on the way up here. It's all a matter of having your bearings on your dollies in good condition. I had someone the other day say that my they look like they were bowed out. That's just how dollies are, especially when you got something heavy on them. When you turn, they go at an angle no matter what you do. That's just part of dollies. I keep my bearings in really good condition. If they get the slightest bit of play on them, I pack them and replace them. They're not that expensive. You gotta do them about once a year. Right. Yeah, we'll get all three of these unloaded and then, I keep saying three, we'll get both of these unloaded. I'm not leaving my tow truck here, I promise. And then, uh, gotta reconnect. I guess that's why I've got three in my head because I'm thinking of the dolly. It's the third thing I'm pulling. But yeah, then I gotta reconnect the dolly to the back of the truck I goes home with us we've got a repo to do along the way so what I'll have to do is go by the address if the vehicle's there go up the street drop the dolly pull the hitch execute the repo Drop the repo, go back, pick up the dolly, and then uh, head home. Unless, of course, the repo happens to be a truck that's a stick or something else that has a hitch on the back that can be put in neutral. That's why I was saying this kind of a haul is very unique. You have to have the right vehicles to be able to do this don't have the right vehicles you can't put just any vehicle on the front and not every vehicle has a hitch on the back like a truck so the few times I've done this I'm pretty certain I had a truck on the uh, back of the repo truck Here the dollies twice as far. <clears throat> Call those the Repo Man Olympics. Both of them, yeah. Doing good, how about you? <laughs> You're, they're both ready to go? Okay. Yeah. Tight, 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 tight. Oh, just barely.
Bum, 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 bum. The guy's like on the dually, I'm like, no, no, no. And freaking just barely came through. Oh, no. You know. Do you see my, my pen in there? <clears throat> Where did that come from? Ow. Both those checked in, dropped off. It's a fun little road trip. Haven't done one of those trains in a while. Just glad I was able to show you guys what that looks like and how easy it is. That's why we keep a car dolly around. Thank you. You too. I was trying to figure out why the guard went back into the tap into a shack and then came back out. He went to get tape. He uh, broke the key off in the ignition on the Jeep, the one he drove. So he ran in to get tape to fix it. And he doesn't know that I would ever know, because he on purpose jumped into Liberty and drove it for me, which I thought was kind of odd. I've never had security help me. He didn't want me to find out about the key. And he didn't know that I was going to grab the keys and take them. I guess these guys have been Lose keys left and right. So my clients have been saying, no more, you bring us the keys. And when they're ready to sell it, we'll give them to them. Which, auction is just gonna sell it as a non-runner if they don't have a key and get less money for it. So <laughs> they don't win out in the end anyways. <sighs> we try to tell them that though, but who wants to listen to me, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. I've only been around a million years. It's so soft. His eyes are just barely open. What are you doing? I don't want to be on YouTube. Look, all your friends home in Australia can see ya. I just ate. So what? Does he eat the corn too? I would not think that a kangaroo eats corn. Of course, when I think about it, I don't really think I ever really thought about what kangaroos eat. So cute. Are the ears. Super soft. They're oh, warm. Oh, they are soft, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, that is good. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Little, little neck massage. Okay, we're getting one of these. I decided. Yeah. Yeah. Let's buy him. Oh, wait, what? What? Did you see him and Layla, 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 Layla going at it? Oh God. Because they seem like they both have the kind of the same attitude. This little wiggly pig. What? Are you a happy Oh, excuse me. Are you a happy little piggy? Oh, I can just imagine that thing in your bedroom. Can you? It kind of looks like your floor. Almost. Yeah. He's yeah. a little bit more scruff, I think. Um, okay, let's go see the next ones. Okay. What do you think they are? I don't know. Bald turkey? Oh, yeah, look at the goats. Hey, we need one of these. Can you see one of these in that room? Uh, those look just like the last one, just a different color. Those look like Wilbur. I think I would rather have cats. Really? No, I'm lying. I probably would take a pig over cats. I don't know, do, do pigs urinate everywhere? Uh, no, they do poop everywhere though. It's kind of cool how they do those roofs over the bales of hay. Oh, 
yeah. temporary uh, structures. Mm -hmm. Actually make kind of a cool little parking garage, you know? Yeah. Make your house look all hillbilly. farmy. Hillbilly, farmy, oh. same difference. Oh. That oh. is disgusting. Oh, oh, you're, no. that one over there is going, <laughs> <laughs> Rodrigo, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Why do we always assume asses have Hispanic names? Spain, really? Look, they have tractor rides. Matt, let's go repo it. Oh, yeah. Wait, I have one. You ready? I actually did repo a tractor uh, once. Okay. Actually, I repoed a tractor more than once. How many times exactly? Mm, a few. What's that? Like Farmers, that. unfortunately. Can we go walk through these? Let's go walk through these. Are in a lot of financial distress most of That's their scary. careers. Really? Yeah. People that provide us with all of our food barely get by. Go figure. That's crazy. They're paid the bare minimum by the government for their corn and wheat and all that stuff. Now, cash crops like uh, tobacco, marijuana, they're doing pretty good. Yeah, but marijuana is not legal because they can't actually tax it. Doesn't need to be legal to be making the government a lot of money. No. Okay. You'll see. You'll get a job someday where you'll uh, get cash under the table, okay. is what they call it. Yeah. And then uh, that's kind of like what the government's doing with uh, marijuana. It's cash under the table. Unspoken of. Bring this on YouTube? I'm no, I'm not put this on YouTube. Are you kidding? The government would, a couple guys in black suits show up to our house. Excuse me, we need to speak to you. Um, we, didn't, we didn't want anybody to know about that uh, whole marijuana thing, and you leaked it. I've never actually done this where I picked one not out of the store. It's like a little fruit. What is that? Huh. This is one of those moments when I wish I had my quadcopter. I could just fly around, first person view, hey, look at that. That's nice find one. the pumpkin I want. Do that, one? that is perfect, Asia. Yeah. Oh, but hey, about that, what about that orange one over there? Damn it! <laughs> no, 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 what about that orange one over there? Yeah, that, is that the one you picked? No. Oh, okay. What? Oh, that's green on one side. Yeah. We'll find a better one, right? Yep. Okay, but yeah, come so you can carry it. Woo! Yeah. I need your assistance now. Okay, what would you like me to do? Ah, uh, not video me. Okay, I, I've stopped. I'm not videoing anymore. <laughs> He's like, uh, they're like 50,000 pounds! Wait till they get the cameras built into our eyeball. I'll be like, I've stopped. <laughs> I stopped recording. What are you talking about? I'm not recording anymore. Oh my God, my foot. I foot. Can I pull the car over? Oh, but you're almost there. Oh, you know what? I should probably move the car. I think somebody might need that parking spot. There's one way down there at the end of the parking lot. I'll be right back. I gotta, I gotta go move the car. <laughs> Alright, ready for me to do it? No! Oh, okay. We're almost there. Okay, that's right. Don't give up when you're almost to the top. 